beautiful people, my name is Elena, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is my update on the gender clinic. Um, I have been doing my second appointment and this appointment was not about hormones and stuff. I mean she, she did ask me awfully what I wanted and that lot and basically I told her what I wanted but this was just getting extra background on myself but like I said I had a couple of years to feel awfully and um, going to my appointment I was very nervous because I've never I've done my second appointment but I've never known what's beyond that appointment the second stage and I'm here to tell you I am now at that stage um, I have good news um, no it's not hormones but it's the next best thing to that towards that step. I have another appointment coming which I don't know when roughly because she says she's going to send the appointment and she's also writing to me and to my GP to have blood, blood, blood work done and that's basically the step that, um, that they take ready for hormones so they can tell which one's going to work for my body and not and just in that lot. But they are really happy with my progress. Um, the fact that I've gone college and that lot, and I have to take my certificates next time. And I filled in all the gaps and stuff. But I've, I've, I've done that a lot. And we was talking about family and all that lot. Um, but it went really, really good. And she told me, she says, I don't really need diagnosing. She says, because I've already had two diagnoses. She says, but that was back in 2012. She says, but I still got to basically diagnose her. Um, she's diagnosed me and she's written down that I have gender dysphoria. And um, she's put me down as um, that you can visibly see that it's gender dysphoria. And that... Um, proceeding through now is what's going to help me um because we're writing to be told us about how i feel such discomfort and stuff and that lot and basically um that can eventually get sorted so that's good news roughly um so hormones should be on the way soon it will take a bit longer to get it all sorted but I've waited this long um, but I'm basically past um, nearly near the door so it'll be open soon the window of opportunity I mean the door of opportunity the window of opportunity the fucking thing um, but she's happy with my progress she kept going back and looking at you know when I was diagnosed in 2012 and um, she um, was asking me like questions about downstairs apparently my next appointment is going to be even more in more intense even though it says on the letter that you only required two appointments I'm going to be having a third appointment because she did ask me. She said, "Did they ask? You, did she ask you to do blood work last time?" I said, "No," which I wasn't asked to do blood work. And I've got now got to do that ready for my third appointment. So, um, is that? Um, so, it's all good news. Basically, I'm now stepping into a new direction. And like I told her, I says I've been wearing feminine clothes and I've been growing my nails since I was 17. And she asked me if there's any goals in life that I want to, um, to basically do. And I told her that I'm, sorry, I'm starting college in January. I'm kicking my maths course in. I'm also going to end up doing the nail course once I get my level one. Um, I said I will be driving, and next month, or I might end up doing it at the end of this month, I'm going to be doing something that I've feared for many years, 
I'm just going to a nail salon and getting some acrylic nails and um, I do have a lot of anxiety about it but I know what is what I want and um, she told me she'd like to see me she said she, she told me she your anxiety is never gonna go because I told her I do have it and I also told her about my medical condition which is hyperhidrosis and she's glad I've got it under control and that I can wear lighter clothing the thing is she wants me to control my anxiety a little bit and that means taking the first step like she said which is the nail salon and helping it along and she says college would be a good thing for me in that art and we was also discussing what discrimination that I've been through throughout the years what's happened to me and I told her about a couple of occasions where I've gone college work and stuff and things that's happened in my family and she basically told me she said well you've been through it and I said yeah I said I have I said there's nothing no, I can do about it but I have been through the mill and that lot and she asked me are you taking any medication for depression and I says no I says I don't want to take medication I says I can control it myself I says it's not really severe roughly I says but it does tend to get me down a lot but that's the gist of it um I am really happy with what's happening today um she asked me if I was happy with what's going on and what the outcome was that she basically said which was to write to my doctor to have my bloods taken and then my next appointment will be the um third gender clinic appointment and then she almost probably be he no he because I have an appointment with my very first I think he was my second doctor actually yeah my second doctor who diagnosed me when I back in 2012 and um, I have him again because even she says she's you've made such an amazing progress and she, 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 um, she says to me she says there's no way no one can dispute that you basically aren't doing what needs to be done and she told me she says he will love to see the progress you've made and she says he'll be um, be your next appointment. <clears throat> My letter will be coming in three weeks to four, so basically a month. Um, so it'll be next next month, maybe on the third week, maybe it might come or the fourth week. I don't know, but it's got now till now till then to come. <laughs> Excuse me thing is literally he will be the deciding factor if I go on hormones but I think I want to get them anyway and we were also, also discussing facial hair because I told her I said sometimes I have to leave it to grow a little bit so it stays away longer I says but I do tend to shave quite a lot and I says I'm breaking up a lot on my skin I said so laser hair removal would be a good thing and she totally agrees because you can see that my skin's starting to get irritated with it. Um, and um, it's all good news. Um, so I'm really happy with what's happened today. I'm waiting for my next letter. Um, one's going to my doctor's and the other one, because I told her, I said, is one going to be sent to me? I says because my doctors are actually quite useless with appointments and that lot. And she says, Yes, yeah, she says one's coming to you so you can get the ball running. Because she even she admitted some GPs are quite useless and they are, especially my doctors. Um, but that's mainly it. I mean, we were talking about fertility and stuff, but the thing is, I'm not, I'm not going down that road, I'm going down the adoption road. Like I said, it hurts that I can't do it because I, it makes me cringe. Um, but the thing is, the ball is now rolling and the next time you guys will see me is when I'm telling you that I have my third appointment and that I'm going to have my bloods taken for my next appointment. I think my next appointment might be in November. So I might be starting hormones November, December, January, somewhere along that line. But the thing is, it's happening and I couldn't be more happier. Um, but some people 
I probably don't like the weight. I don't mind it because it gives my hair a chance to grow and stuff. It gives me a, a chance to kick a lot of stuff in. Like I'm going to the nail salon. I'll be going to college. I'll be starting driving lessons. I know my plan for next year already. So I know basically the gist of where I'm going in life. And I'm happy. That's a good thing. But like I told her, I says I wouldn't feel completely happy and complete unless I get things fixed and she even told me she says because she looked back at my old records back in 2012 and with the way I was speaking and that she says it's like your dysphoria has got even worse off she says and that can pop up pop as your dysphoria she says when you're talking about it and she says and how comfortable you talk when she's talking about downstairs it makes me cringe that physically cringe and that lot and like I told her I says I will consider surgery one year after hormones I says because I don't want anything I says I want to be fully part myself I says before anything kicks in and that lot so that's my amazing news um, and Hopefully you guys will stick around for the next video which will be me getting my blood test bloods done and the update on when my next appointment is which is my third appointment and I'll also update you guys when I get some acrylic nails because that's my next big thing because I told her I says I love change I says and like I says I told, I've been growing my nails since I was 17 I'm now 28 nearly 29 I want change and acrylic nails is basically what I want to do because I've always wanted to do it but I've always been scared so that's something I've got to kick in and I'm doing it next month so fingers crossed everything goes okay anyway guys that's my update and I'll see you guys in the next video